So the first one is the girl from Arcania. So the girl from Arcania is developed by Arcania Games. Actually, I didn't realize this, but both of the games that I'm going to be playing tonight are from the same publisher, Top Hat Studios, Inc. This is an action adventure RPG, action RPG, JRPG. So kind of falls under the, the Venn diagram. This would be in the middle of all of those ones. Um, but the reason, the main reason I wanted to play this, I'm not going to lie, it's got a capybara. I love capybaras. And I thought I haven't played an RPG in a long time. Oh, well, yeah. Join Marissa and Cappy. i let you guess which one is the capybara. As they journey into the jungles of Amazonia, the girl from Arcania, or Arcania, I don't know how to say it, is a pixel art action RPG that draws inspiration from 2D Zelda classics such as Minish Cap and Four Swords Adventures. Our tale begins in Arcania, a city at the edge of the world. In a realm of danger and mystery, Marissa, the treasure hunter, strives to build a reputation for herself and carry on her family's legacy. Along the way, a terrible turn of events forces Marissa to work alongside an unusual ally, a magical capybara known to the land as... Oh, boy. <sighs> Ka-apura yum Cax. I'm just going to put the name in chat, and you guys can figure out how to say it. I have no freaking clue. <laughs> uh, but you can still just call him Cappy. Yeah, I think we'll stick with that. Now they embark on an epic journey to save their home and make some money doing it. Let's get into it. Get our options first. Oh. Oh, <laughs> like where did the music go? <laughs> okay. How long does this go on for? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Uh, display, full screen, feel set, full set, that's fine. All right, let's get started. We got five different journals. Oh, we got reading. Ages ago, in a time all but forgotten, chaos reigned in the realm of Amazonia. Demons roamed the land, spreading wickedness and suffering. The one that men feared most was the great serpent, mightiest and cruelest of all. Quetzal, Quetzalcoatl was his name, and there existed no law but his. The people prayed for a brave hero to save them, but none could find the strength to be such a hero. And so they lived in fear. One morning, in a humble fishing village, a shadow appeared upon the sunrise. From rays of light emerged a young woman, and into the village she went. Much was unusual about her, but many were startled by her eyes. In a land that knew only despair, eyes shone bright with hope. Mara was her name, and she came seeking warriors who would stand against the demons. But the people called her mad. Their fear was too great. Yet there she found seven girls, each with an ember of courage in their hearts. That night, Mara vanished with them. Once they realized, the villagers wept quietly in the dark. For cries of anger would only draw demons near. When dawn broke, however, another shadow appeared on the sunrise. Mara and her companions returned, 
drenched in blood and with the head of a hellish beast in tow. In that moment, mankind discovered that demons could be killed. And so, by Mara's command, countless victories were won against the forces of hell. She and her priestesses became a symbol of hope. Years passed, and the tribe of men flourished. <clears throat> Their success drew the eyes of Quetzalcoatl, however, and he laid siege to their land from the sky. Mara ordered seven shrines be built, one for the prayers of each priestess. By their prayers, she would have the strength to fight Quetzalcoatl, but if their faith wavered, she would surely die. Yet so strong was their conviction, so fervent their prayer, that from the heavens came a raging storm. In such a tempest, the demon could not take flight. Led by Mara, warriors of Amazonia attacked the beast. The battle was long, and many died. But in the end, Mara leapt atop, Quetzal Mara leapt atop Quetzalcoatl and drove a holy lance through his eye. With the demon weakened, the priestesses erected seven mystical seals across the realm, banishing Quetzalcoatl back to hell. Exhausted from battle, Mara fell where she stood. Her disciples ran to her, but she told them not to fear. Her task was complete, and soon she would return home. <clears throat> the priestesses took Mara from that place, and she was never seen again. Where she went and what she told them are closely guarded secrets of the priestesses of Marajo. But their sacred duty to ensure demons never return to Amazonia was passed on through the ages. Now history is changing once again. With the tale of a brave girl and a city at the edge of the world. Title drop. <laughs> oh. oh, we can move now. Okay, so I'm using my I'm using my dual shock. And both D-pad and left stick work. It's directing us here, so let's open this up. And we got nothing. Cool. Right? We don't have anything. Why is this? Okay. Well, can we interact with anything? Can we attack anything? Oh. So, on my R2... I wonder if this is for magic or special abilities, because the little menu shows up. Mm -hmm. we interact with anything? I'm assuming it's square. Okay, maybe not. This is Marissa's house. Who are you? Oh yeah, Marissa. Seems like you slept the whole day away, yeah? Headed out for the night? This is Barrett. Is that her brother? Dad? Oh, it's her dad. Yeah, Papa. I'm meeting up with Ari in the woods. She's gonna show me some new places to look for treasure. Ah, that's the best sort of friend to have, yeah? But before you run off, I have an errand for you. The keg's bone dry. It'd be a great help if you went down to the beer house and brought a new one back. But Papa, Ari's waiting for me. Can't you go? Yeah, can't you go? It won't take you but a moment. Besides, I have a surprise for you when you get back. Oh, bribery. Well done. <laughs> really? What? What is it? Wouldn't be a surprise if I told you, now would it? 
Get going already. Now you're the one keeping your friend waiting. Oh, what a jerk. <laughs> and take a lantern with you. It's already getting dark outside. So we got a lantern. Oh, and here's money for the keg. Bag of coins. Now off with you, and be sure to hurry back. I need to get to drinking. Objectives will be marked on your map menu. The map menu can be found inside your bag. Oh, that's an attack. So can I can I break stuff now? Ah, uh, guess not. So all right, so we got lantern, which ah okay. How do I pull that up quickly, or do I just? Oh, she's already holding it. Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm gonna get a little messed up because the glyphs are showing um, for Xbox. Yeah, okay. So uh, where's our map? Okay, that's where we are and we need to go straight down. Let's talk to people. Careful, this wall isn't finished yet. Got a blacksmith. Oh yeah, Henry. Marissa, how nice to see you. You must be pretty strong standing here hammering all day, huh? Oh, uh, I suppose maybe, but it's really nothing. You ever tried hitting a Juru Pari like that? What is that? I don't know what that word is. No, I can't say I have. Well, be careful if you do, and make sure they don't get near your face. Oh. Must be a creature. Thank you. I'll try to remember that. Ooh. Oh, that's... I just lit those on fire, so... Using the lantern actually causes things to catch fire. Should we try it on the chickens? <laughs> no. Let's go into other people's houses. And steal stuff. What have we got here? Iron ore, stone, wooden figurine, citrine, banana garnet. Sure. Let's commit robbery. Oh, this is his house. Yeah, because there's like a grinding wheel and stuff. So I distracted him with conversation and then I robbed him. Who's this? Unhurried merchant. Hmm? Oh yeah, Brew. I need to get through the gate. Oh, my apologies. I assure you I'll have my cart moved in no time. Ah, oh, where was I? Ah, oh, yes, as I was saying. Oh, come on, man. Oh yeah, Marissa, headed outside the wall? Yeah, but first I've gotta go pick up my beer for my pick up beer for my dad. Ah, headed the wrong way for that, aren't you? Yeah, I know. I know I am. I'm exploring. Oh, this is a grave. Hmm. One time, I caught a kakura. You know, that little red plant guy? The little red plant guys? But my mom made me let it go. You look pretty cool. You ever jump off a cliff? That's what us cool kids do. Okay. Uh, I can't see where I am... Kanye really is growing rapidly. I remember when your house wasn't even inside the city walls. Who are you? Do you know if the tailor's married? I could wear a dress every day of the week if I were his wife. Ugh. I see you're admiring my stylish new garb. And how could you not? The tailor has outdone himself again. Let's say hi. Let him know there's a woman that's interested in him outside. My tailoring is the finest in Arcania bar none. Let me know if you'd like to see a sample of my work. Uh, that's the only interaction we get from him. All right, let's let's get just get the damn beer. 
Or is it... Oh, still further down. Nope. The guard at the north gate is so handsome, but he never seems to notice me. I wish just once he would say, Oh yeah, when I pass by. Uh, I mean, you could just, like, say hi to him. Maybe he's shy. Uh, I can't even... Ooh. The beer store! I don't know I can help you with young lady. There's a store called Bags. Let's just... This guy's got a cool hat. I can't afford to leave Arcania, but things are pretty comfortable here. Probably worse places out there to be stuck in, yeah? No. Well, this is like an apothecary or alchemist or something. There's the beer store. Hello. Each time we... <clears throat> oh, boy. Each time we come into port, I end up spending all my money at the beer house. Oh, but you Germans make such fine beer. I second that. I do like German beer as well. But the best makers of beer have got to be monks. Trappist monks love the beer. It's strong, but it doesn't taste strong. Marissa, welcome in. Oh yeah, bro. Huh? Oh yeah, indeed. What can I get for you? I need beer. Lady, you're speaking my language. Not sure, like... I... My German pronunciation is non-existent. You're in the beer house, after all. But, uh, how much? Little beer? Big beer? Er... Uh, this much. Marissa placed a bag of coins on the counter. Ah, very big beer. That will take a minute. Wait there, yeah? Yeah, I need to get to the woods already. Renzo Dorocco. And he's got a face, which means he's important. Woods? At this time of night? Why ever would you go there? I'm meeting my friend Ari. We're going treasure hunting. Treasure hunting? Oh, yes. Hmm. You do have the look of an adventurous woman about you, yes. Ah, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Renzo, Renzo de Rocco, the greatest merchant to ever come out of the Kingdom of Sicily. Oh, yeah, bro. I'm Marissa, the world's greatest treasure hunter. <laughs> er, I will be, anyway. Yes, yes, I see the potential of a truly great treasure hunter within you. Perhaps we might do business. I myself came to this land seeking gemstones and curios to peddle. But so far this endeavor has gone... poorly. It turns out that the jungle is quite dangerous. Dangerous indeed. No place for one such as I. But you... I'm much more willing to sacrifice your life than I am mine. <laughs> is what I feel he's not saying. If you find anything of value during your travels, come find me in the marketplace just across the street. I'll pay you quite generously, I assure you. Yeah, Bruce, sounds like a deal. Our big beer's done. Sorry to interrupt, but your big beer's ready, Marissa. Got one beer keg. Thanks, mate. I suppose this is where we part ways, no? I look forward to seeing you again soon, Marissa the treasure hunter. Ciao. Let's see if there's anything, anyone interesting. You ever catch a glimpse of one of those lizard men? Moonwan? Uh, Munwane? I think they're called? I'm probably saying that wrong. They might keep their distance from us, but I hear they're closer with the... Uh, Baraj... Oh, boy. Marajoarans. I just butchered that. I wonder what they're like. What's this thing on the wall over here? Oh, I can't get to it. Is everybody else just ex ignoring me? Have you seen the price of drinks these days? Ridiculous. I remember when it was half as much. Yeah, inflation's getting everybody. Raise your tankard to Arcania and to the Empire. Mein Gott. What is in this drink? I know what that means. <laughs> just ale, you say? Well, what about the other nine? A bit of a lush, buddy. 
Yeah. All right. Let's go bring Papa his beer. That's weird. Got stuck leaving. Welcome back. Have any trouble? No way, bro. Marissa gave Barrett the keg of beer. Good girl. Here, take some with you for you and your friend tonight. Four flagons of beer. Nice. Thanks, Papa. Uh, so, what was that surprise you were getting ready? Right. I suppose I've made you wait long enough. Take a look at this. Your sword? No, not mine. Not anymore, anyway. Here, take it. Marissa got the Kriegsmesser. I've had that sword since I was your age, and it was the only thing I had left of my name when I came to Arcania. It needed a lot of work, but it's finally ready for you. Wow, it's beautiful. I'm glad you like it, and I hope you appreciate what I gave up for this. Lay on the guilt trip, bud. I'm sure your mother is standing at the gates of heaven right now, telling them not to let me in. Oh? So his wife is dead, and before she died, she hated him, I guess. Or... No. This isn't the life she wanted for you. But I know your mind is set, and there's nothing I can do to change it. Besides, it's not like I have any other trade I can pass on to you. So he was a warrior? Hm. Thanks, Papa. I'll take good care of it. It's a bit heavier than what you trained with, but I'm sure you'll get used to it. Before you leave with it, I want you to promise me you'll only use it to protect yourself and others. Try to walk a better path than I did as a young man. No murdering, no thieving, or any other sort of general villainy. Whoa, okay. Barrett's just gotten a lot more interesting. Don't do what I did as a young man. Don't murder people. Don't steal. And don't be a general villain. Wow, okay. So, I feel like there was a lot that we were told there, kind of subtly. I promise, Papa. I don't want to hurt anyone, yeah? I know you don't. You're a good girl. But the ugly truth is that there are some rotten scoundrels out there just waiting to take advantage of you. Be sure to let them know you've got the bigger sword, yeah? Mm-hmm. Now hurry out to the woods and find your friend. Make sure she gets some of that beer. And one last thing. Go see your grandfather when you get a chance. He has a job for you, I hear. An essential tool for treasure hunting. Use it to defeat enemies. Okay, uh, that's... X. Special attack. That's... so X and circle. Marissa can spend energy to perform a special attack. This attack does greater damage. I would hope. Combo points. Each successful hint with a normal attack creates one combo point. When Marissa has three combo points, her next special attack costs no energy. Oh, so that takes half of my energy. So, three hits with a regular attack and then a circle for a special attack. Head it out. Yeah, mate. Be careful out there, yeah? I haven't heard anything for certain yet, but rumor is there's fighting over near Mirajo. I'm not sure who they're fighting, but it never hurts to be cautious. The beasts are rather riled up tonight anyhow. Thanks, mate. I'll keep that in mind. Now, I noticed that dude over here has a new symbol on his head. Oye, Marissa. Oye, Brew. Hey, you're like a really great swordsmith, right? Oh, well, I mostly make bardages for the city guard, but yeah, I know my way around a sword. What do you think of about my messer? It's a little old and beat up, don't you think? Marissa shows Henry the messer. Yeah, it's seen better days. Are you trying to tell me you'd like me to work on it? Yeah. Well, yeah, I can fix it up for you. Not on my own coin, though. You'll have to bring me all the materials. Deal. 
What you need, bro? Let's start off with 10 iron ore and go from there. You can get iron ore from bake, breaking iron veins, or you can purchase it at the market, or you can break into my house and steal some. <laughs> Got it, mate. I'll be right back. So how much do we have? Uh, where? I thought... Can I steal a bunch from him? the wrong button that's why i pressed x on the xbox or sorry on the playstation co controller which only took the one item we still don't have enough though there we go so this is equipment and quest items and what's in my backpack and this is another inventory menu So we've only got one iron ore. Okay. But do we have anything to mine the iron ore with? Do we need anything? I don't know. We'll see. Who's this? Oh! I wonder if this is going to answer my questions. Suspicious merchant. Hola, amiga. You look like an adventurous sort of girl, no? Yeah, bro. I'm a treasure hunter. Heh. <laughs> Lucky me. Could I interest you in a trade deal, then? There's something I need that's found in caves in this region. I'm looking for guano, otherwise known as bat dung. None of that Arcanian merchants sell it. Why the heck would anyone want that? <laughs> that's a trade secret, I'm afraid. Don't worry yourself about it. If you can bring me guano, I'll trade you scraps of iron from my ship's ballast. <clears throat> Sorry. You could easily sell the iron for a profit, or perhaps make something out of it? Maybe upgrade your sword? I'll be in this area for a while. Come see me if you have any guano to trade. Okay. Uh huh. What's this? What a strange rock. That's all we're getting from that. I can't go there. Bora Landara. Okay. these yellow specks supposed to be anything, or are they just fireflies, I'm guessing? Oh. That does not look like a friendly... our first hit and triangle we'll use the cheese we got two pieces of cheese okay what is that why does this look significant Waste of my special attack. Okay. I don't know what that is or if that is even anything. Hmm. I can come down from there, but I can't get up there. And this rock looks a little suspicious. Looks like I'll be able to maybe break it. I don't know. What was that? 
Topaz. Okay. Can jump down there. Is there a way up here? Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to get up here. Because I can't really see a way yet. So, it must be... Maybe a scripted event or something. And again, what did I just pick up? Oh, another piece of cheese that was hiding in the bushes. And what was that? I, I really wish there was some sort of tooltip that came up and said, hey, you just picked up this, or just a tiny little text, so I didn't have to keep checking. Alright, let's see what one of these special attacks does. Damn. Okay. Oh. From her. Oh shoot, she's all the way up there. Okay. Maybe I should just not try and. Ah. Not try and destroy every single piece of uh, vegetation that I see. Whoa. Oh, and then it breaks off into multiple pieces. That's annoying. And it takes an extra hit to destroy those crocodile thingies. Now, what was that? So we got a blood garnet and a Jurupari belt. Or pelt, sorry. What? Oh, what? Oh, she can't swim. Good to know. So water is not your friend. Which sucks, because I want to know what that... That block over there on the other side of the waterfall is. Okay. Probably can't figure that out yet. Oh, great. Ow. Ah! Did we just pick up a football helmet? What was that? A conquistador helm. Uh, it's a treasure item, so I'm guessing I can't wear it, otherwise it would show up elsewhere. Let's eat some cheese. Gain one health back from that. Better than nothing. Is that a climbable wall? Let me deal with this guy first. Ah, oh, it is. Okay. And there's a cave. stuff. Amethyst. And there's more. Really? Oh. This music's not bad, actually.
kind of kicked up in this section here. Is this a pushable block? But I can't. Oh, I'm guessing because these marks on the floor means it was pushed from this square over to here, which means I have to push it from the other side. Okay. This is probably the way, that's probably the way out would be my guess. Or maybe something else, who knows. What did we get? We picked up a mushroom. It's a treasure item. Okay. All of the, I've noticed something, but that all of the items that are in treasure sell for question mark, question mark, question mark. So I'm guessing I have to sell them first. This is a this has got blue question marks on it, so I'm wondering if that's a different rarity, because there's green, mostly white, one blue, and another green. Now I can't get out this way. So perhaps I was wrong. can't get through. I guess this is as far as I can go. Is there a map for the dungeon? No. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to leave this. Oh, this guy reset. This guy's take four shots. So far, I'm really enjoying this. What is that? Mm. Oh, what was that? Belt. This is an entirely different area. Upper Windberg. Oh. And because the map has, uh, like the on-screen display has kind of like scaled up, so we're even smaller. Because so I thought, well, let's, why, is, why are these creatures so small? And then I noticed everything is smaller. I think I can go any further, so this may just not be part of the demo, who knows. But I can't progress anymore at this moment, so let's go north. And meet our friend Ari, who's been probably waiting for forever for us. We're, we're not that great of a friend, but at least we're coming with beer. What the hell did we just pick up? picked up this is quartz and mossy agate That's such a weird sound when she eats something. She sounds like she's choking on it.
another cave. Oh. What's this? Well, we got guano and a stone axe. Hmm. Let's see if I was right. I should be able to push this block onto that. <laughs> I think I know what that sound means. Oh, shit. What was this? How do I interact with this? Oh. Norris has got the miner's tools. I wonder if Grandpa would like this. Oh, I wonder if that was what I was... If what Grandpa's job was for me. Oh. Ow. Come on, share. There we go. I didn't see which door opened. Oh, wait, there was just this one. Okay. Ooh. Got a key. Probably goes to a door nearby. There's no doors in here, so I'm gonna backtrack. So, I haven't played too many Zelda games, uh, and by not playing too many, I mean I've played one, and I didn't even beat it. Oh, shit. No, really? Oh. oh, I can't get that. And, but it certainly feels like it, especially the whole, the sounds that, that it makes whenever you find a secret. Reminds me of that. This is on fire, this one's not, so. Ah, okay. Then we could fall here. Yeah, this part of the this part of the game the level design really feels like Zelda to me. The one that I played was a link to the past. Actually, it was the first game I started streaming. And I got self-conscious because I wasn't good at it. Hmm. Where the hell are we? Oh, we're close to friend. What is this? It's uh, similar to the one that's just outside of town. I know I'm doubling back, but ah, uh, let's go see friend. They've been waiting for a while in there. Probably thirsty. Oh, cutscene. Ari, Marissa, do you have beer for me? <laughs> Whoa, what's that? It's a Kriegsmesser. Just got it from my dad. Look. Wow, it's so shiny. Is it hard to use? No way, mate. There's nothing to it. I gave some Juraparis and Okaparas a good thrashing on the way over here. You're so brave. The Juraparis are really scary. I always run away. Don't worry, Ari. I'll protect you. All you gotta do is show me where the treasure is hiding, yeah? Right. Oh, um, I want to show you something. It's a dance that I do. A really special dance. We do all kinds of dances, Ari. What's so special about this one? 
This one is a shaman dance. It's been passed down to every lunar shaman all the way back to Mara. This dance can help you see things you can't normally see. Hmm, okay. Like treasure? Uh-huh. But it doesn't work for just anyone. The spirits might hear you, but they won't always respond. But I think I can act as a connection with the spirits for you. My mother did it for me when I first became a shaman. Uh, all right then. Guess it's worth a shot, huh? You'll do great. Just watch what I do. Spin. Hold RT or RT to dance with R. Um. Have a little dancey dance in the forest at night. What's going on? I didn't do too bad, huh? Marissa, I felt something, someone watching us. What? During our dance? Where are they? I'll handle it. Oh, I have to figure out. Uh... Oh, now I suppose I should have known I couldn't hide from you, Ari. But it doesn't matter all that much, because in the end, you couldn't hide from me either. Ooh, this is a bad guy. Marissa, we should leave. I'm afraid not. I tire of playing your pointless games, Ari. I don't understand. Who are you? Oh, he's tall. And he's got stormtroopers? And skeletons? Uh, Zolotl? I don't know how to say this name. I'm going to go with Zolotl. You are not aware? Here, I thought you were deliberately evading me this whole time. How amusing. I am Zolotl, High Priests of Astlan, and you, Priestess Ari of Marajo, are going to help me bring salvation to my people. What? How do I do that? Don't worry. It's quite simple. We've broken six of the seals of Mara today. Yours is the last. He's been busy. That's impossible. You're lying. My sisters would never let that happen. I had expected that as well. But my new allies knew a surprising amount about how the seals work. How very foolish that your people allow former priestesses to continue living, knowing what sort of power they possess. That's a horrible thing to say. I don't really think he's interested in saying horrible things so much as doing horrible things. I suppose your kind has always been uncomfortable with such things. But tonight it has cost you dearly. I told the other priestesses that if they would not aid me, I would find ones who would. Wait. There are similarities, a lot of similarities between this and Zelda, right? Because aren't there priestesses in, in uh, Legend of Zelda as well that... Ah, I don't remember the lore that much. But I think there are something like that. Anyway. But would it not be regrettable if I were forced to lead an army into Mirajo to find them? The priestesses agreed. Well, all but one, though we found her seal rather weak to begin with. So that just leaves you. I... I won't help you. The seal stopped demons from coming to our land. What they stop is the return of the gods. Mirajo commits a crime against the natural order and we have tolerated it for long enough. Your people know all too well the threat posed by these Castilian devils from across the sea. With the seals broken, I shall resurrect the great sky serpent, Quetzalcoatl, and unleash divine retribution upon them. My people are dying. Our empire lies in ruin. The mad princess and her conquistadors siege the heart of Aslan, and I would do anything to stop her. He's got motivation. He's not just, I'm bad for the sake of being bad. I really like that. That's, no, I'm sorry, but you can't do this. This won't solve anything. I'm a priestess of Mara, and I will never abandon my duty to protect her barrier. She says she's not going, so leave us alone. Marissa? Oh, I'm not letting you take Ari, so go away. My patience is wearing thin. Stand aside. I'm not afraid of you! 
stand aside. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeet. Marissa. How easily she broke. You forced my hand, princess, uh, priestess Ari. This needn't have turned to violence. Marissa, this can't be real. You monster. Enough. Take her. Understood. That our canyon was a tenacious little thing, wasn't she? What a shame. Quickly, we must be going. There's still much work to be done. Why are you leaving her alive? Why are you leaving her alive? You, you know that she knows what you're on about. She's gonna wake up. She's gonna tell everybody. Just either take her with you or fucking kill her. <laughs> Why do villains do this? Uh. Are you still with us? Hello? Ugh. Uh, come on, don't give up on me. I could really use your help right now, but that sort of depends on you surviving. Who's talking? Oh! Oh, jeez. Capuara. Ka. I give up. Cappy. Oh, good. You're still alive. I take it you're Marissa? I, Bru. I'm Marissa, the world's greatest. Hey, wait a second. How come you know my name, huh? And why can you talk? To answer the first question, Ari talks about you constantly. It's almost all she ever talks about, in fact. She's caused me quite a bit of grief by sneaking off, but last night I'd almost worked out in our favor. Almost. Uh, so who are you then? Oh, of course. Where are my manners? I am... that. One of the guardian spirits of Amazonia. The servant of the Aratana. Huh. That's a crazy name for a marmot, yeah? Nobody's ever going to remember all that. I'll call you Cappy Brew. Cappy Brew? And you just call me a marmot? Absolutely not. I have sacrificed more than you can imagine to protect this land, and I've asked very little in return. But I insist that you address me by my bestowed title. Mate, I'm never going to remember all that. It's going to have to be Cappy Brew. <laughs> Fine. You know what? It doesn't matter. There are far more important matters at hand. Ugh, I can't believe I let that big guy get me like that. Never been hit that hard before. Wait! They got Ari! Calm down. Try to stay calm. Yes, they do seem to have Ari. However, I do not believe they intend to harm her. At least not yet. Where are they taking her? They didn't really let me in on their plan, I'm afraid. <laughs> What about that big guy, Zolotl? He said something about the Seals of Mara. Oh, so it is him. I had assumed as much. Uh, this confirms it. I never would have imagined the Mun... Mun... Munwane? Munwane would betray us, but if anybody could orchestrate such a thing, it'd be him. The weird lizard guy with the white ar armor? The very same. Seems they've broken our alliance and joined forces with Zolotl. I can only speculate as to why. But if Salatl intends to dispel Mara's barrier, he'll need to take Ari to one of the Mar uh, Marajoran temples. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well then, let's go, mate. We have to get Ari back. Now, hold on a moment. We can't just walk in and take her. Take me to Arcania and introduce me to your... King? I'll plead for assistance on behalf of Marajo. Who knows how long that'll take? We have to find Ari right, right away. I can do this. You're lucky you're even alive right now, Marissa. This guy does not... This guy's got no bullshit. Oh, shit. I pressed the button. Damn it. I'm going. You're insane. But you really think you can do it, don't you? Hmm. Strange. You sort of remind me of someone I knew a very long time ago. Well, Marissa, against my better judgment, let's go see what you can do. I'm sure I can always find someone who can... Who, someone else to take me to Arcania after you've died in the temple. No way, mate. I'm going to find Ari in no time and show everyone that I'm the world's tre greatest treasure hunter, yeah? Hmm. I want to give you the best fighting chance I can, so before we head out, let me show you some of what I can do. 
You'll see I'm far from an ordinary capybara. Uh, okay. Show us your moves, buddy. Swap control, left trigger and up. Switch between controlling Marissa and Cappy. Oh. Left trigger and left. Use while you al your ally is following to tell them to stay put. Command follow. Use again while your ally is staying to tell them to follow. And return to ally. Okay, so up is to swap. Left is to stay. Left again to follow. And right is to return. Uh -huh. Oh, that's his voice. So he's got a little snot ray. And some swipey. And a little spinnerana. Now, it is coming to 9.30, and I do want to continue playing this, because this is fun. But I'm going to do the rest of it offline, because I do want to get to our other game, which is Windswept. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to stop it there. Progress is auto-saved on every loading screen, and when you exit the game. Okay, so we're going to exit now. This is fun definitely see the appeal to this the writing's actually not bad the writing's uh fun the characters seem interesting and they have some depth and there's some i, I like bad guys with motivations i'm big on that really big on that i hate it when bad guys are just cardboard cutouts i, I am evil what's your what's your defining characteristic i am evil Ugh. boring see you soon huh. all right so that was the girl from Arcania. Arcania? Arca I don't know how to... How to again, I'm not sure about the pronunciation. Yeah, that was fun. I really dug that. <laughs>